Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda and today I'm going to be chatting through all the books that I would like to read in the month of August. I cannot believe we are entering spooky season. I consider like August to like November kind of spooky, cozy, autumnal season. And for August, I have a pretty big TBR, but if I actually get to all these, it would be a miracle. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off with book club reads, buddy reads, all that. The first book I have to talk about is The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. This is the first book in the, I guess, Thursday Murder Club series. <laughs> and this is my in-person book club pick for August. It is my turn. This is my pick. I'm hosting book club. So I'm looking forward to starting this one. I will be starting it very, very soon when I'm filming this video. And I don't know too much about it, but I have heard people say it's phenomenal and they just love this series so, so much. So I'm really looking forward to getting into it and I'm excited. I also forgot to mention my current read, which I will be finishing in August, which is Every Time I Go on Vacation, Someone Dies. I am currently about 30% into the audiobook of this, and it's so fun. It reads so much like Knives Out, and but a lot sillier. Like, I feel like Knives Out is maybe a little bit more serious, but this book is just a silly, goofy time. I'm having so much fun with it, and I should definitely be able to finish it in August. A another book that I am reading as part of a book club is I Was a Teenage Slasher by Stephen Graham Jones. This is the book club pick for Literally Dead Book Club, which I'm trying to participate in more because I always have a fun time reading the books. So this is the pick for August. I got the audiobook off of Everand, so I'll be trying to get to this one. I'm not like too pressed to read the books for Literally Dead Book Club because I can always go back and rewatch past live shows or whatever, but I'm definitely going to try to keep up if I can. <laughs> the next book is one I do have checked out from the library right now, but is also one that I'm really itching to start because I think I'm just gonna love this series. And that is A Curious Beginning by Deanna Rayborn. This is the first book in the Veronica Speedwell series. So many of my friends are obsessed with these books and I wanna join them. I too wanna be obsessed with this series. So I don't know too much about it other than I think it it's historical mystery, which sounds like a fun time. So uh, I don't know too much else about it, but I know that the relationship between Veronica and Stoker, I think his name is, is like to die for apparently. So gonna be trying to get to this one in August. I just, I'm kind of in that cozy mystery mood at the moment. And I just feel like this is, this is its time to shine. <laughs> Next up, I will be restarting my Hobsob journey with Fool's Errand. I have been putting this book off because I'm so scared to continue with Robin Hobb because so many of my friends who have finished all the books in the realm of the Elderling have like a major reading slump from the last book and can't even read fantasy anymore. So like, I'm scared <laughs> that that's gonna be me, that Robin Hobb is just gonna destroy my ability to read fantasy. But She's such an amazing writer and I like, I love her books, but like, I love them so much that I don't want to read them. It literally makes no sense. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get to this in August. I've been slowly acquiring all the audiobooks through Libro FM and while they're not the best audiobooks, I do find that they kind of help to keep me focused on the book. So I'm going to be getting to this one in August and hopefully start reading one a month again. I've taken like a whole year break almost from, actually it hasn't been a year. It's just been several, several months since I read the last book in the Ship of Magic series, but it's time. It's truly time I come back to this. <laughs> Speaking of continuing series, another book I really want to get to in August is The Battle Drum by Sarah El Arifi. I really want to get to this one. I loved The Final Strife. I think I gave it like five stars, four or five stars. Absolutely loved it. So really want to get into this one. And the third book is coming out in September. So I thought it would be perfect if I read this in August. Then when the third book comes out, I could just dive right in. And book two is still going to be fresh in my mind. And I kind of planned it that way. So I'm really looking forward to this one. The ending of The Final Strife, I can still very vividly remember, which is just crazy. So really excited for this one. Another big old chunky fantasy, but I'm kind of in that mood. 
Maybe, kind of. <laughs> Speaking of more chunky fantasy, the next book I'd like to get to is The Sky on Fire by Jen Loins. This is a standalone dragon fantasy. Like, that is buzzwords for me. Like, standalone dragon fantasy, I'm here. Sign me up, done. Like, amazing. So, I probably should be continuing with her other series, but honestly, I kind of am, am maybe softy enough in that series for now because it's just, I don't know, I didn't love the last book I read in that series, so we'll just see. But really excited for this one. I may even try to wrangle some of my friends to read this with me because I know a lot of them have bought this book and I don't think they've read it yet. So looking forward to this one. It should be a fun time. Obsessed with this cover and I'm excited for it. Okay, I also have some books that I am like kind of putting on this TBR but I'm not like 100% expecting me to read them but uh it's quickly dawning on me that 2024 is like already over halfway done and I really need to start focusing on my R Fantasy bingo board because I really want to do a blackout but I got to start reading the books to make that happen. So one of the books that is on my bingo is The Jasmine Throne by Tasha Suri. So I'm going to be putting this on the TBR. I'm going to try to read like one or two our fantasy bingo books a month, but we'll just see how that goes because the whole point of that was to be for fun, but I'm also doing hard mode, so it makes it even harder. <laughs> but we'll see if I get to this one. Again, it's a big old chunky fantasy, but I may try to get the audiobook for this and just listen to it and um, we'll see if I can make that happen. Another R Fantasy Bingo book is The Library of Shadows. This one I do have just on audio, so I should likely get to this one because I just have the audiobook. I believe this one's like a YA dark academia story. It sounds interesting and I hope to enjoy it. Continuing with my reading one Elsie Silver book a month, I would really like to get to A False Start by Elsie Silver. I believe this is the final book in the Gold Rush Ranch series. I am just obsessed with Elsie Silver's books. Like she is truly one of my favorite romance authors at this point because I've like teared up at several of her books at this point. So she's just cementing herself more and more as a favorite of mine. So hoping to get to that one this month and I think it'll be a nice break between all these chunky fantasies and I'm looking forward to getting to it. The final book I have on my TBR for August is one that I am really curious about because I backed this Kickstarter so long ago and we're finally getting the books and I have no clue when the second one is going to be arriving in the mail, but I do really want to get to this one and that is Secrets of Blackthorn Hall by Cassandra Clare. I am really excited for this one and I cannot wait to get to it. It looks like it should be a pretty fast read because there's lots of just like full page art. Oh wait, oh my gosh, there's like a full like pull out page. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna have to look at that later. <laughs> lots of art and huge font. So this should be a pretty fast read and I believe it's a collection of short stories that were originally posted on Tumblr and have now been compiled into this book. So I want to read these books as I get them in the mail because I just want to keep up with them and looking forward to getting to this one. So here is my really big stack of books that I would like to read in the month of August. It's also kind of nice having August as kind of a mood reading month because I am not doing Magic Readathon this month because it's not happening this month, which honestly I'm kind of grateful for. So I don't have to worry about trying to fit books into prompts and as I always say, these are just hopefuls. I'm not telling myself I have to read all of these, but I'm hoping to read a good chunk of them. So that is going to be it for this video. Thank you all so very much for watching. Let me know of any books that you would like to be reading in August as I would love to know, and I will see you all in another video soon. Goodbye!